everyone welcome back to Beauty by Trish and today I am coming to you with a haul. I'm going to be totally upfront and straight with you guys. I've already recorded my VIB Rouge haul. I had placed an order online and I went into my local store. I am still looking at two Sephora bags and four Ulta bags, a CVS bag, a Walmart bag, a Target bag. So I'm trying to think quickly how exactly to categorize these hauls. I think I'm going to do just the miscellaneous things first. I'll tell you where I got them. And then we will just kind of take it from there. Okay, so at CVS, I had some free extra bucks, and I do again. Um, I picked up a darker Milani. I got it in 07 Sand because I do like this foundation. I will tell you, I've used it with my Argon Oil for a softer look on days that I'm a little bit drier. I was having a lot of trouble with my skin appearing overly dry. I got that Bobbi Brown moisturizer and I have been able to tell such a difference already. But before that, I did pick up this on the VIB Rouge sale. Now I use my Argon oil with some of the Milani foundation, but this makes such a difference because it's a primer. So it also extends the wear. It doesn't break it down and lessen the wear. I just love it. And I'll show you this collar. Now this is a pump, but you can also screw it off to see the collar. I think it shows better that way, but it does come in a pump. So got another one of those because I really have been enjoying those foundations. And I also had picked up one of Milani's powder foundations. I did use this one time just on its own and it gave a medium coverage. It didn't accentuate any dryness or any fine lines, which I was really kind of surprised. Like I said, I've only wore it one time by itself and that was the only time I've worn it. I haven't put it on top of anything yet, but I will definitely keep trying this out and let you know what I think of that. In the summer times, a lot of times we like a BB cream and maybe a powder foundation just to go over maybe our T-zone. So that's one reason I went ahead and chose to pick that up. And then they had a uh, Wet n Wild, I think it was buy two, get one free, or I don't remember exactly because this has been a good while ago. I did pick up the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. If any of you have tried any of these things, let me know what you think. I have tried that, or I picked up this. I also picked up a Photo Focus Lash Primer from Wet n Wild. And it just, I'm pretty sure it's a white, yeah. White. Mascara primer, so we'll give that a go. And one of their Wet n Wild Long Lasting Eyeshadow Primers. Now, I have raved about their eyeshadow primer previously. The only thing with that one was when it was in the Fergie line. The only thing with this, this one was that it worked best if you put it on your bare lid. If you are somebody that likes to put foundation on your lid first, I didn't get the same. This wasn't a favorite if I put it on top of foundation, but if I put it on top of a bare lid, it was always a favorite. But this is the new Photo Focus No More Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. I have no idea if it's the same or different, but I will definitely be trying and letting you all know. At Sally's, I picked up, uh, I picked up a Hot Red Intensifier because my hair is darker. I want the red, so I have to intensify. I just add it to this. This is light burgundy blonde. So just mix those together. And then if you want a little bit lighter, you can use a 30, per, a 30 developer or a 20. I normally use a 20. And I got a little tube key target. 
Target I picked up. They had this on the end cap and normally I'm very much a Crest girl. Actually, I just opened a Crest that I had in here to haul, but I needed it. Um, Colgate Optic White Platinum High Impact Four Shades Visibly Whiter starts working in three days. Have any of you tried this? Let me know. And I love their face blush brushes, the Up and Up at Target. I like these to set under my eyes. And I had a couple and I don't know where they went, so I grabbed two. And the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brushes, they had for $3. I think they were six originally, and so I picked up three. One I have been using. At Walgreens, I went in Walgreens to see if they had upped their Jordana display and gotten any of the sweet matte lips or any of the eyeshadows that I've heard about. They hadn't, but I do like to get the Q-tip Q -tip precision tip. I use these all the time. They also had this serum in oil. This is from Dove. It is it makes your hair more manageable, less breakage, and smooth and shiny. And it's in this little tiny bottle. And they had the new Kiss eyelashes out that are the, what do they call the multi-angle technology. I'm going to show you in the biggest one so you can see what I mean. And then see from the side. You can see how there's some that are curled and it looks like there's maybe two pair laid down there, but it's only one. And this one is Daisy. They had Tulip, which will be like a beautiful everyday lash. And I'll show you the side. They had Peony. And then they had camellias, camellias, camellias. So they were buy one, get one half off. I'm looking for things that are not lips or palettes. Urban Decay came out with three new highlights and I did pick those up. I picked up Aurora. Look how beautiful. Isn't that pretty? Sin, which seems to be everybody's favorite from what I have seen and heard. And that's Sin. And then Fireball, which I think is also absolutely beautiful. Fireball, Sin, Aurora. I just picked up very recently the Lancome Sills Booster XL because I've heard this is absolutely the best. It's just a white primer. I'm excited to try that one. And I found a sample of this and Jack and I both loved it. It is Gucci's Bamboo. I just got the little separator but it smells oh, I love the smell. it smells amazing so got that does it give the notes I did I did have somebody ask me to compare these Alta premium cotton pads to the Chisados so I did pick these up well these are kind of these are a lot different than the Shiseido. Shiseido. These are a lot different. Let's see, this is what they were. These were four ninety nine, and that's when I picked up the two small sponges, the super blenders I got for under my eye. Love that, and then the double pack of their makeup blending sponge duo. And come here, come here, come here, okay. This is super soft. It is, it has a slight, what I call, 
memory foam feel, but it's not hard and pouncy on your face. And I can't find here. It's, it's dirty because I just used it and they get ready with me. But that's the size difference once it's wet. So, so far I'm really impressed. I didn't, I couldn't tell the difference between the performance of this and the um, real, real technique. So tomorrow I'll have my beauty, my actual beauty blender washed and ready and I will compare it with that also. I did pick up a Sephora Illuminating Brow Enhancer and this is in the pink. You can get them matte or you can get them with a little bit of a illumination. So I got the matte and it is in, what color is this? Matte light pink but I'm not using it on my brow bone. I'll show you what I'm gonna use it on. Not now, soon. Also got the Tardis Blush Palette. And these are, these are beautiful. This, this color is so, so pretty. It is just gorgeous. And I got this, I think I got this one from QVC because you got a free brush and this brush is awesome it really is a nice nice little brush to go with this so really pretty and I got two of the Laura Geller baked gelato swirl illuminators I got ballerina and that's ballerina I've used gilded honey the most I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. I also picked up Simply Ageist by CoverGirl, the anti-aging face primer. I'm still playing with this. So far, so good. I've actually been impressed with this primer. So, glad I have that. I also got a Polish Choice Clinical 1% Retinol Treatment. Um... Last night was the first night I used this. I've tried a couple things Polish Choice that I've really enjoyed. So I will absolutely, you know what I should have done before and after. If I remember tonight, I will take before pictures. And then when I give a review on this, there should be something, you know, some show that I've been using this from what I've heard. And Wayne Goss also talked highly about this. Also, I got the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. I've already been able to tell a difference using this face cream. This has really, really made a huge improvement. But I've only used this for actually right around a week now, and I can already tell a difference. So, And I wasn't sure if I had hauled the It Cosmetics. I've deleted so many videos that I don't know what I've hauled and what I haven't. Um, the It Cosmetic, your sin, but your skin but better CC um, this is the 50 plus this was the giant I mean, this thing is huge that thing is huge and it's um, SPF 50 so definitely we're actually having some spring like weather so I will actually get to use this now okay guys I still have a lot to haul but it's either lips or palettes so I'm going to break those up into category. This will be part one, and this is just going to be a miscellaneous haul. I'll be filming the lips video. I will be filming a palettes video, and I will also be fil filming a workout clothing haul because I'm getting my group back on, girls. Okay, guys, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you mostly for taking a little bit of time out of your day and giving it to me. I really appreciate it. I hope that you all are doing well. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.